Alright guys, I'm back. It's your boy DeAnthony from Break Room Blitz. Um, before I get started, I want to let you guys know we are doing a, a December giveaway. Um, so check out our, I put, a link, I put a link right here. Check out our Rogue One giveaway video. Um, all you have to do is comment with your favorite Star Wars movie. And we will pick from those comments and choose who won and give away a Rogue One Pop uh, Gin figure. So it's exclusive. Bounty, Smuggler, Smuggler's Bounty exclusive. So it is going to be worth a little bit more than a regular pop. So if you're into pop, or if you have kids that are into pops or whatnot, <clears throat> we're going to be giving this away. So go ahead and check that out, guys. Alright, so, as you guys know, I've been watching Blackish for forever. Just got through watch, watching episode 9 of season 3. Thought it was great. Um, again, they hit home with the issues within the black community and in this particular episode it's about nepotism i think it's called nothing but nepotism um and honestly so nepotism is not a big thing in our community uh for one you know we don't always have you know jobs to be able to give our kids because uh, a lot of times we're all about go get a great job but not own your own business, which is what we should be doing, is owning your own business, because it is the American dream to own your own business. Everyone that comes over here, they come, and they open up shops, they open up restaurants, they open up their own businesses, you know, so that's the American dream, but that's not something that we usually do. <clears throat> we are getting a little better, which is great, um, but in this episode, they're talking about this, and it is a, a, a thing, an issue in our community, so uh, Anthony Anderson, he comes in, or Dre, he comes in, and he's like... You know, I'm not helping my daughter get nowhere because I had to make it on my own. I had to struggle on my own. So she got to do the same thing. And he says that, you know, he made him a better person. Which, yes, struggle, strife, hardships do make you a better person. But there's no point of having someone trying to do the go the same path and trip over the same obstacles. You know, trip over the same hurdles, um, having to struggle and find their way just as long as it took you. You know, as long as that person is has the goal of being successful, you should definitely help them. Whether or not it's your daughter, your son, your friend, your neighbor, whatever, you should help them be successful. You should try to tell them where those obstacles are. You know, when you get here, make a left. When you get there, you're going to step back one and then step forward twice. You know, you need to say these things. Otherwise, it's going to take us way longer or we're not going to be able to gain any actual wealth, you know, as a, in a, as a generation or, you know, as a people because we keep, we're always looking in the dark. We're always searching in the dark for where's that light switch at? You know, and then one person that made it and got the light switch, he's like, well, I ain't going to tell them where it's at. It's right next to him, but I had to struggle. I had to walk all around the room in circles like five times before I found a light switch. So he gonna have to do the same thing. That is a, a a flawed, idiotic way of thinking. So when he steps into the room and he's saying, "I'm not gonna help my daughter because of this," I get it. But there has to be another goal. It has to be another uh, a way of thinking. You know, you have to just look around and see what are people doing. You know what I'm saying? Like. People are, the other, other, other groups of people, they are helping their family. They are giving their kids jobs, you know, and that's what you should be doing is building wealth. You should be able to leave something for your kids, you know, or they join different organizations. You know, they'll join a sorority, a fraternity, they'll join a secret society. You know, they'll join these things that where a group of, a group of people can help each other accomplish anything because you cannot accomplish much on your own. You can do some things. But you cannot accomplish much by yourself. You're going to need a team. You're going to need a group effort to accomplish great things. You know, like, it's not one person building a building. You know, now one person can build a fence. They can do that. But to build a house, you're not going to be able to do that on your own. So it's going to take more than one person. You know, so, but it's a, it's a legit thing. So I, I appreciate the, the, the episode for that. Now they, they do make it funny, you know. I was a, I was a little serious. That's a little serious thing, but they do make it funny, you know. Rainbow gets her a job or a internship, you know, with the hospital, and the daughter's like, "Uh, I'm not working there." So as soon as the dad comes to his senses, because he has a little powwow 
with his white group and he notices that they're doing nepotism. The CEO is pretty much giving his son the job once he retires with no qualifications. His son's sleeping. His son has some little knapsack, I guess, on his head. He got his head down on the desk. I'm like, bruh. But that's what happens, you know, but that's, I don't see anything wrong with that. You take care of your family. You take care of your people. You know, so I don't see anything wrong with that. Um, there's nothing wrong with having pride in who you are. Now, to uh, discriminate on others or to, um, you know, make sure someone doesn't succeed elsewhere, that's where the problem is occurs as far as with me anyway as far as like racism things like that you know but as far as like helping your family I mean who are you gonna feed you gonna feed your family if a stranger knock on the door and he's like can I get a piece of bread are you gonna get the last piece of bread that you gonna give to your daughter or are you gonna keep that piece of bread for your own family you know what I'm saying so if you look at it like that if you see each other like family and you love one another it's not a big deal you know I wouldn't expect someone to do that so but the, you know they make it funny and he, I think he's a, a great dad but sometimes he's a terrible dad because he goes up to the internship that he gets his daughter and calls her trash and says you should spit on her and spill coffee in her face and it's funny you know but honestly that's just the wrong approach and you definitely shouldn't be doing that to your own kids you know and the cool part is she ends up being awesome she ends up being awesome and she's thriving and it comes natural to her and they think that she's just a great asset and they promote her you know so sometimes when you do when you practice nepotism it could be because that person just earns it they just they just you know excel in a certain uh on a certain platform and he's a marketing uh, i'm gonna just say guru and she wants to be in fashion so fashion is pretty much marketing so you know she since he thrives she's gonna thrive but she's seen him you know so the fact that he actually um was doubting her i you know it was kind of kind of sad but you know what she loves him and she forgave him because he came and apologized you know so i thought that was kind of cool and then a little side story that they had was junior he gets him a job some goofy job at some Chuck E. Cheese place, I forget what the name was, and um, he, he finds out that they are, you know, using, using food from out the trash, they're, you know, just like spitting on food, you know, just they're just dirty and filthy and nasty. So he has to actually have the strength or the courage to step up and say something. That's something that black people have always had to do because with all the, you know, protesting that happens on it, that goes on in America, you know, um, you pretty much, or even the things, the internal things that happen, you know, maybe at your job or something like that or at school, you know, you always have to like put yourself out there and make a stand. You could just see Colin, or Colin Kaepernick, you know, he's making a stand right now. He could, you know, possibly you know, lose his job, lose his career, or his, you know, put his name in the dirt, but he's setting up for something that he believes in, and Junior had to do that, you know, and he had to, to, try, to, to, to try to break it down to his little siblings because they just thought this was the most amazing thing, most amazing place, and it really wasn't. It was really trash, and he had to stand up and say something, so he makes a video, forgets the... <laughs> For some reason, he wanted to take his name off. I guess he wanted to keep his job, but still get it out there, you know. Um, but in any case, he was so brave. So he makes a video, and pretty much the corporate responds to it, and they shut down the whole branch. And now that the kids can go, he ain't got no job. So everyone's mad at him. And the cold part is, is a mama. Is she threw? I don't. She threw some. Uh, I'm gonna just say a shake or something like that. And she's like, thanks a lot, guy. It speeds off. He's like, mama? <laughs> Their family is just really weird. Like, a lot of times, she's really supportive of her, of her son. And sometimes, she's just like, so what are people going to call you nerdy? And you're never going to have a girlfriend. And you're going to be living alone by yourself. So what do people think? People, you know, call you nerd boy and all that. And he's like, who are these people that call me this? And she's like, 
people, you know, people. And really, she's people because that's what she sees in her son. You know, so they're, they're a weird family, but they make it funny. But this is the reason why I watch that series or, or that show because they say a lot of things that are important, but they make it funny. So I'm hoping that either people who are watching it are able to connect these dots or people who are watching my reviews, they're able to maybe see something they didn't see in the episode because it, I think it's a great show. I think what they what they give the people are, you know, real life issues. Bless you. I think what they give the people are real life issues and things that need to be discussed and not always have to be taken so seriously. You know, they can give it to you in a comedic way. So I, I definitely value the show. I watch it every week. You know, so and I'm going to watch it until it's over. Um, so hopefully I'll be bringing more videos out to you guys until the series ends. So, alright, well that's my review. I really liked it. I thought it was really creative. I thought it was really funny. Um, I would definitely rewatch it. Um, so I recommend this show to you guys. So, I'm DeAnthony. Check out our other videos. I've been putting the links up one of these, on one of these sides. But check them out. Um, I'm from Break Room Blitz. We do other videos. We do movie reviews. We do other TV show reviews. It's more like a discussion. So if you just don't want to hear my voice and you want to hear a discussion, a panel of people who have their own opinions, check out our other videos. Um, so like and subscribe um, so you can get those other videos coming out. We'd like to know that you guys like us, you know, so we want to get it. We want to get our voices out there because we think that we have a definitely have a unique voice. So, all right, guys, so like, subscribe, share, and comment. And I'm out. I'm your boy, DeAnthony from Break Room Blitz. Peace.